Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the second half of February 2020 Spiritual Advice Reading. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me since the very beginning, who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you so, so very much. So I'm going to be starting out with the Gypsy Oracle deck, and I'm just going to do a simple Celtic spread. Lord, Spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever Pisces energy I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages for the second half of February 2020. Wow. So we have a Pisces here, male or female, sun, moon, or rising, who has been down a journey. They've learned a lot. They are carrying the old woman energies who's been there, done that, and recognizes the lessons. This is by mid-February of 2020, around the week of the 17th. So in the thoughts position, we have a Pisces who is remaining hopeful, right, Pisces? Remaining hopeful because of what all that you've learned. And in your foundation, you have waiting. So Spirit is saying, take some time to wait, to observe, to reflect, for some of you in the past, you were hoping to become a wife energy, a commitment, a partnership with another. You've learned a lot, maybe, in the area of having a wife, being a wife or partner. And now we have a Pisces who's waiting patiently as spirits guiding them to have hope. What are your positive goals and intentions in the second half of February 2020 where you can uh, ground yourself for one thing, writing, drawing, painting, doing photography, pottery, poetry, whatever it is, take a class. For you've come a long way. And what I'm seeing here with the reunion energies and what I'm feeling is that during the week of February 17th, 2020, we have a Pisces who is coming back together with another. Reuniting, maybe there was some distance in the past. For some of you, you learned and evolved and are now ready to come together with another. For you have patiently waited in the area of love. Beautiful. So love is in your actions position, Pisces. Are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Come together with another. I do feel like this could be a a couple things. A single Pisces who's going to come into connection with someone maybe around the 20th to the 25th of February 2020. And the advice here is to open your heart to love. Remember, love is about patience and kindness. For passion is a whole different realm, right? So the advice here in the spiritual assistance position is to allow your heart to be someone's sweetheart. Allow yourself to be someone's sweetheart and have hope that the actions you are now taking are connecting you with someone whereby there is energy of love. Trust your heart that you can love is a message here. Yeah, because in the hopes and fears position, we have a Pisces here, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Saturn, Pluto, or Jupiter, who is fearing misfortune. Therefore, they're waiting on love, but they're almost fearing it because they're thinking about all that they learned in the past when they were in a commitment or partnership. Huh. So during the last week of February, the week of the 24th, of February 2020, we have some form of despair. So in a three-card summary to my left with the same Gypsy Oracle deck, we have the 17th through around the 20th of February 2020, uh, a Pisces who's receiving some form of consolation, message, communication, maybe a little bit of money or communication about money. Exciting, because then you have the merchant energies. You're packing up and you're making a plan. With Spirit saying, enjoy the journey right now. Figure out how you are grounding yourself as you open your heart to love. 
when it comes to those whom are around you now. Because this is about with the widower energies, recognizing that something ended even though we don't want to, having to do with a marriage commitment or partnership. Something ended whereby someone wanted to become a wife or husband energy, but they learned from the experience, therefore you grew spiritually. So during the week of the 17th of February 2020, I think closer to the weekend, around maybe the 21st to the 23rd, we do have communication coming to this Pisces regarding fortune. Beautiful. Reuniting, reconnecting with an open heart, recognizing that you've been waiting because you have been fearing energies of misfortune. So the third week going into the fourth week, we have a pleasure seeker energy. Somebody coming in who's in a leadership position with the Lord energy. This could be a father figure, a grandfather figure. And uh, you're wanting to get together, work, serve, uh, give to this energy. It could be that you come into connection with someone, Pisces, around the 21st to the 23rd whereby there's an unexpected reunion, is what I'm hearing. So it's okay to get together, have fun, be patient and kind, for there is a lot of cheerful energy here in the second half of February 2020. But be careful what you bring into your journey for some of you. Somebody here may be re uh, repeating old unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles. And we have a gentleman here with two women and the faux energy saying, Recognize what you are bringing upon yourself. If the situation is unhealthy, okay, I now know right from wrong, right, with the priest energy when it comes to receiving a gift, kind words, messages, and etc. For I'm now thinking more about faithfulness. I have now evolved spiritually. I am now ready to communicate about a deeper commitment, partnership, or contract. For I have surpassed um, someone who, or my own lesson in and with the ego and arrogance, I've recognized the falseness in that. Now, by the week of the 24th of February, 2020, we have a very stubborn Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, or we have a Pisces thinking about the home environment, making changes in the area of home, money, business, family. And Pisces, you may be dealing with someone who has the constancy energies of stubbornness. But you also are being blessed in the second half, especially the last week of February 2020, Pisces, to research with the scholar energies, forward movement, travel. If you're in a partnership that's been difficult, I feel like it is evolving. It's your, it, it, the fears are what are stopping you. There's still healing here with the malady energies in the area of a lover. And then we have sorrow regarding a situation regarding our childhood or our past, whichever Pisces this is. That person kept you stuck or trapped in your thoughts and caused you energies of despair. So spirits really telling this Pisces to ask spirit to cleanse you from energies of misfortune, to recognize how misfortunate energies uh, evolved because some of you, you're being warned not to reunite with the person. If you are someone's sweetheart, give thanks to what you currently have. All right, we're going to clarify here. Yeah, I see fantasy and illusion here, wanting to lay down a path. That you used to be passionate about. Let's clarify with the Leaf Tea Tarot cards by Ray Hepburn. So again, when it comes to mid-February 2020, we have a Pisces here, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, who's being guided. Pay attention to your work, okay? Some of you with the old woman energies, you have been working on a project, hobby, gift, talent, skill, financial, creative situation, and um, you've learned a lot. You've come a long way. Good. And now you just, some of you are like, I'm secure in the area of what I'm doing day to day. I'm just kind of contemplating love. Do I want to be someone's sweetheart? Am I ready? Well, in the thoughts position, we have a Pisces who is 
remaining hopeful here during the week of the 17th of February 2020. And Spirit saying with the heart energies, continue to focus on love, deep affection, showing that you care for another or others in your life. Or you may just be, yeah, spirit's trying to bring you out of hope into feeling your heart. Okay, yeah, so in the foundation here, we have a Pisces who is waiting. They're saying there may be a, a moment of pause in the area of a new job or career. But pay attention to what you're creating. You've come a long way. Remain hopeful as you keep your heart open in the area of love and romance or just family and friends. Give thanks every day to spirit for those whom... You've been blessed to have in your journey with you. Yeah, in the recent past, somebody, again, was hoping to come into commitment partnership contract with the wife energies regarding a uh, friend at a distance. Wondering if that person is still thinking of you. But now during the week of February 17th, 2020, we have reunion. Dealings with an older woman. Reuniting. Reuniting maybe with someone who is a little bit older than you regarding a career or job opportunity. For some of you, you're wanting to reunite with a woman after difficulty. Or you're the woman wanting to reunite during that week of the 17th of February. So in your actions position, we do have love here. And the boat energy, which says money or property through an inheritance, through a win, through a windfall. This process of a new job or career for some of you, if that's the area you're contemplating. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're going to draw someone towards you. Keep your heart open. If you're single, you could be needing someone between the 21st and the 24th of February, 2020. Yes, yeah, so see in the hopes and fears position, there's fear here with the wreath, sorrow, loss, misfortune, fearing that you won't maybe receive this job offer or opportunity, that you've been doing something for a period of time and you're waiting, but Spirit's saying wait with an open heart. For in the inner strengths position or spiritual advice position, we've got a sweetheart energy, Pisces. So for those of you who are in a relationship, commitment, partnership, uh, spirit is saying, come back into loving those whom love you. You may be thinking about how to move forward in a peaceful way after reuniting with this woman and recognizing that because you've opened your heart to love, and success and happiness and positivity. There is some form of inheritance. Maybe you're getting money through your work and you're offering to others. And that's making you feel very content and peaceful. You're in the second half. Closer even to some of you uh, the last week in February 2020. So in the outcome position, we have despair. Excitement. So we have despair and excitement. Sorrow or, sorrow or loss when dealing with an older woman. There's, uh, there's a message here to have hope that abundance, stability, and love is coming your way. Yeah, so there's excitement dealing with a man. You will be receiving a gift. Or giving a gift. I think some of you are going to be receiving that job offer if this is what you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting since January. Maybe you had a conversation in January and you've been waiting to see if someone's going to show you the love in the area of money. Do not fear what has transpired in the past with someone who was at a distance. For that person had the enemy energies of lies and deceit. For they know not what they do. Okay, so we have advice coming from a wise person, which I feel is this older woman. I'm going to see if I can get some form of element or sign for that older woman energy. Some of you are going to receive an offer, and it's going to come through some form of woman. 
And this is going to bring people together. It's going to bring peace and harmony. It's going to help you to open your heart and to enjoy love. Something may take off in the area of a small business or whatever it is you're working on creatively. So Spirit is saying continue to pay attention to your work. Maybe there's a little more wisdom you need to learn about regarding a job or career, but know that as you open up your heart to love and trust in the universe, that money and or property and inheritance win or windfall is going to come and bring peace and harmony into your life. So there may be a shocking communication with someone. I see a man here as well, a gift because of maybe something you did in January or something you let go of in January. Please clarify January. This is the Game of Thrones deck. In January, this Pisces was feeling with the Five of Coins energies like they didn't have enough. Sad and depressed. But Spirit's saying, think about the end of February, because this is um, the 11th of February. Think about what it is you want to become. If you could make your wishes come true, what is it that would make you shine like the sun? How can you show that beautiful inner gift or talent or skill that you have? Because spirit's trying to bring you out of what you've been working on, what's made you feel like it's been a little bit difficult, into smoother pastures, greener pastures, smoother waters, however you want to say it. So yeah, something may come very quickly here. Or somebody traveled over water or you are traveling because your ship is coming in. You put a lot of work in with the three of wands, energies, Pisces, and now you are manifesting the ability to go away from a difficult situation, maybe involving someone who had air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or just kind of troubled waters. You can now manifest and shine. You guys have earned a new direction. Your wishes are going to come true and they're going to put you into a position of stability, security, contentment, fulfillment, and love for those whom you already have been blessed to have in your life. Beautiful messages. So should these messages resonate for you and you have some uh, questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the uh, New Year's special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Closing message for this Pisces, please, representing the second half of February 2020. Wow, so we have the winged wise ones. Spirit has been walking with this Pisces for a period of time, maybe over the last three years with the number three. That's what I'm feeling in the number 34. Three represents the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Through your prayer, Spirit is helping to guide you into this number four in a number four year, 2020. Two plus two is four, about security, about stability, about contentment, peace, and harmony. For you have angelic help and miraculous aid when it comes to whatever you are trying to manifest. You are being freed from energies of self-sabotage and poverty consciousness, feeling as though you don't have enough. You're going to start to realize the cycles of growth that are taking place in your life and recognizing that there was a natural sequence by which things had to transpire. There was a divine order where other things needed to be closed up so that this new truth within you can shine. So continue to walk with great integrity as you're going to start to recognize for some of you in the second half by the end of February 2020 that this purpose, this hobby, gift, talent, skill, financial direction, creative situation or win that you're going to have free will to do what inspires others. You're in a moment of preparation, Pisces. And Spirit's helping you manifest something whereby you can help others. So pre preserve those ideas is what I'm hearing. Remain patient. And know that maybe by the 15th, if it isn't in February, 
because this is the 11th today. It could take till the 15th of March 2020 for you to recognize that you have enlightened great illumination, spiritual guidance or assistance in the eyes of others. And that what you've been working on that is so positive and good is going to result in some form of celebration. And then you go into the Queen of Cups energies or King. Stability, security, contentment, joy, peace. Wow. All right. So again, should these messages resonate, email me at josiek42 at gmail.com and we'll answer your own specific questions regarding these energies. If you'd like your own energy read, I do offer a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.